Hey folks, right here doing cut and trim. So I'm doing one of my uh, townhouses, but this particular one you can't use the the big mower on it. You have to use the uh, push mower. Uh, and they've got all kinds of signs. I hate it when they got these signs in the yard saying keep the dogs. Uh, it's so annoying. Um, but yeah, so I mean, oh, not only do they have that, they got fresh mulch put in. It looks like it's the rubber kind. And there's so much trimming, and that grass is so green. I almost guarantee you I'm going to get a complaint about clippings in the mulch beds. Well, I wasn't able to do the uh, backyard because the gate was locked. Things ended up ended up not being too bad. They've got that um, uh, what do you call it? That uh, uh, that rubber mulch, um, which is you know really expensive. I think it's like eight or nine, nine bucks a bag or something like that. But I don't know if you can buy that in bulk. I'm interested to see how that stuff works out because uh, I don't know. I I don't really like the way it looks personally um, when it's in your yard. I mean, I would definitely use it in the playground. Uh, I used to service a, uh, uh, a daycare and that's what they used and that, it seemed like it worked great, you know. I mean, the kids would track it all out, you know, and uh, you know, it would be my job to bring it back in. I got a feeling that my dangerous things you can do <laughs> is uh, swing by your house. <laughs> God only knows when you're going to be able to get back out. Oh man, I had a, uh, where my lawns is like half mile from my house and uh, I had to go to the bathroom so I swung in to use the bathroom at my house and of course as soon as I got there the desk phone started ringing uh, from glass company. I uh, want to reschedule a uh, in a repair they're doing for me. Uh, of course, I busted out somebody's window first week of the season, <laughs> and uh, so they wanted to instead of doing it tomorrow, they wanted to do it today. Which, of course, I had to coordinate that with the uh, uh, business where the glass was broken. Deal with all that. And then while I was there, I was like, well, you know, I might as well deal with call customers that. Uh, uh, haven't put their credit card on file yet because I really want to get their lawn service today. Called her up, got that taken care of. And then the glass company called again, wanted to talk for, I don't know why. Um, excuse me. And then somebody else called me. I feel like there was another phone call in there, but now I can't remember what it was. Either way, it took forever to get out of there. So we're back on the road. Excuse me. Gotten uh, five lawns done. It's uh, about 10:45. Got five yards done. Got uh, four more to do, and uh, then I got a spring cleanup. But I gotta tell you, man. Once the lawn season starts, I really don't like doing cleanups. <laughs> I don't like doing cleanups regardless. But man, once the actual mowing season has started. I am just so completely out of that mode of walking around with a backpack for a couple hours. And, uh, but whatever, money's green and I got time, so I can get it done. Hey folks, doing cutting trail. Or, oh, excuse me, Randy. I'm I'm Randy. Let's try that again. Hey folks, Randy here, doing cutting trail. I am sick. I don't know. <laughs> what the deal is man. I feel like I managed to go the whole winter without ever having a cold or anything like that and now that it's springtime and I'm mowing I'm all backed up and congested and it's like real hurts right there What 
whatever. It's life in the big city. So, you know, uh, it's kind of frustrating. <clears throat> Not frustrating, but just the lawn season around here is getting off to a slow start. Last year, I was going full bore beginning of April, and uh, we're, uh, it's the April 18th, and grass still isn't growing much. I mean, we're, we're, we're into the season now, and I mean, I've, you know, we got a decent amount of customers at this point. I think we're up to, let's double check, I think I'm up to 40. Um, but, uh, I mean, that's going to get way higher as we, uh, as the season progresses. It's just so low right now because there's no, uh, most lawns aren't even, most people haven't even cut their grass for the first time yet. So, but yeah, that, that's okay. That is okay. <clears throat> first stamped uh, full court. Normally I would take the time to just fix it, but this actually was kind of an ongoing issue from last year, so I actually <laughs> bought a brand new one last year, and then this never broke again, so I've just been carrying around, so let's uh, use the new one now. tools with you man. You bring spare parts if you think you might need them. That way you don't get slowed down. Oh, man, I just had a guy uh, come over to me, <laughs> ask uh, how much I would charge to cut his yard. So I gave him the price, and he said, okay, he said, uh, I'm, I uh, do it myself right now, but in a couple years, I'm probably not going to be able to do it anymore. I'll give you a call then. <laughs> okay. yeah, on to the next one. And I just got my first uh, credit card decline of the year. So, I want gas. <laughs> you know, those things, like, I mean, it happens a lot throughout the season, but it's just, it's annoying when it does. Um, I know the guy's good for it. Um, it's, uh, his card got declined a lot last year, so <laughs> I know he's good for it. But still, it's like, man. You know, because like the system that I've got in place now, it's so easy, you know. I, I finish your yard, and I hit complete, and then uh, credit card gets charged, and that's it. So, you know, it's just simple. I don't have to deal with it. So when your card gets declined, it's like extra annoying because it's like, all right, well now, 
I go back to the office, gotta email you, let you know that your card was declined, and then you gotta, I gotta wait for you to email me back and say, try it now, and you know, it's just like, uh, who am I kidding? I mean, I, you know, it's still better than invoicing at the end of the month, so I'm complaining, but not complaining too much. <laughs> Could be worse. Well, that last, uh, last yard, uh, was almost concerned was going to be a problem. I had uh, signed this customer up and then uh, she decided to call me to give the credit card information and she made a comment that the house was a rental <clears throat> and in my head I was thinking like oh that's nice of her to include the cost of rent in the um, I mean include the cost of lawn mowing in the rent you know that way a renter didn't have to deal with it because honestly that's what I would do if I was at rental homes. Um, and I didn't think anything about it, and then I got there, and I was like, ah, oh, shoot! When she said it was a rental, what she meant is it's a boarding house. I don't know if you guys have ever mowed boarding houses before, but man, it can be a real pain. Um, this one actually worked out fine, though. It's a, I, I, I don't know what she charges, but uh, her tenants keep the place looking pretty good. So, when I first got there, I realized it was a boarding house. When I first got there, I realized it was a boarding house. I, my first thought was like, well, we're gonna have to raise the price on this sucker, because boarding house, there's tons of trash, and junk everywhere, or whatever. But, um, turned out not to be the case with this property, so I actually uh, got it done uh, in uh, not too bad a time frame. I, um, <coughs> excuse me. You know, it's a $35 lawn and I got it done in 31 minutes. So I had decided if it got done in less than 35 minutes, I was going to, I mean, in more than 35 minutes, I was going to have to charge her more. But I got it done in a reasonable ish time frame. And so we'll just leave it as it is. But, uh, yeah. Well, it's, uh, 1.45 and uh, I'm done for the day. Uh, <clears throat> it went pretty good. Got uh, 10 yards done. Um, Could have got them done faster, but you know, had to make a couple stops. Um, had to deal with some uh, <clears throat> some quotes and stuff. Uh, tell you, man, if um, if you can. Uh, if you ever get hooked up with a realtor, make sure you are nice to them because they can really hook you up. Um, I've got a realtor that uh, last year I ended up doing a couple thousand dollars worth of work with her and I'm uh, starting it up again this year and I got another realtor that I uh, haven't worked with in a year but did my best to treat her as good as I could and she just contacted me again. Got a couple clients that she needs me to take care of so... <clears throat> Make sure you're taking care of the realtors, man. They can really hook you up. You know, because it's not like people tend to think of realtors as being like a, like a one-stop thing, like just, you know, one-off, get this property in shape. But uh, it's not always like that. Because um, they're also trying to sell houses that are like bank-owned. So, like, uh, <coughs> excuse me, and the one realtor I'm working with, um, she's actually based in a city like a, an hour from me, uh, but she's the real estate agent for the uh, uh, pro these two properties, and so I, I cut these lawns every two weeks, and uh, you know they're very prompt with payment, and very easy to deal with, you know, and hopefully we'll be able to continue to get jobs from her when she has clients in this area. So you, you really want to work with them because, you know, realtors, they're, they're, they're business people, you know. Real estate agents are business people, and once they find somebody they like, they stick with them, just like, just like we do, you know. You find a contractor you like to work with, you stick with that contractor because they're easy to deal with. So when you take the effort to be, to be a, I guess, a good, you know, when you take the effort to have a good working relationship with a real estate agent, man, it, it really helps you out big time. So, <clears throat> man, I, uh, hopefully I can get over this cold, man. My voice is getting worse and worse, and I'm trying to be like, trying to be as 
YouTube thing. And <laughs> My voice isn't working. No good. <laughs> so, have a good one.